Hello, boys and girls, and welcome back to another wonderful week of learning. You are joining me at the right time. We are in a new month. We've got new letters and numbers, a new color, new shape, and a host of new topics to talk about. Boys and girls, remember this year we are growing together and I'm so happy to see you here again. So let's grow. Now, we begin every class by reviewing the months of the year. Repeat after me. January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Very good, boys and girls. Now, we are in a brand new month this week. We are in the month of November. So, let's practice. I say, what month is it? And you say, it is November. Let's practice. I say, what month is it? And you say, it is November. Excellent job. One more time. This time, you can do it by yourself. I say, hmm, what month is it? And you say, excellent job, boys and girls, wonderful job. Let's move on. The letter of the day is L. The letter L sounds like ooh, ooh, ooh. Boys and girls, make sure your tongue is behind your teeth. Hmm? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Great job. Now, let's take a look at some examples of words that use the O oh sound. Here we go. Lamp. We use lamps to help us see better. They come in all sorts of colors, shapes, and sizes. Take a look around your home. Do you have any lamps? in your house? Lizard. Lizard is a word that begins with the O sound. This lizard is green. Have you ever seen a lizard before? Leaves. Leaves is another word that begins with the O sound. Leaves can be so different from each other, boys and girls. Do you see any leaves outside your window?
Now here we see the capital L or the big L and the lowercase l or the small l. Boys and girls, it is important for us to learn how to write these letters. Let's take a look at how we write the big L. Here we go. You can pause the video here to practice how to write the capital L and the lowercase l. Remember, we follow the numbers in order. One, two. Great job, boys and girls. Now you know what the letter L looks like. You know what the letter L sounds like. You know how to write the letter L. And you also know some examples of words that use the O uh sound. Make sure you keep practicing this skill, boys and girls. I know you can do it. Let's move on. Boys and girls, we are in the season of fall. And if there is one thing that fall will bring us, it's lots and lots of leaves on the ground. Today, you and I are going to learn about leaves. Here we go. Leaves come in many different colors during the fall season. Boys and girls, take a look at this picture. How many colors can you find? I see red, orange, yellow, green. Oh my goodness, keep looking boys and girls. We are going to pretend like we are birds. We are going to fly up high and look down at the different trees and their different color leaves. Boys and girls, what colors do you see now? Leaves also come in many different shapes and sizes. Boys and girls, let's take a closer look by going outside and grabbing some leaves around your home. Lay them out and take a look to see what shapes you have and what sizes. All right, boys and girls. So when you go outside on a walk or when you are in the car driving with mom or dad, I want you to keep your eyes open and talk about what you see in the leaves. Do you see leaves on the trees or do you see them on the ground? Are they different colors? And what color leaves do you see? You might even have some in your own backyard or front yard. Great job today, boys and girls. Let's move on. Boys and girls, this month, you and I are going to focus on how we take care of ourselves. That involves lots of different little things, but don't worry, we are going to learn about them together. Today, you and I are going to learn why it's so important to brush our teeth. 
<laughs> Let's go. If we are going to brush our teeth, the first thing that we need is a toothbrush. Now we might have a brush for our hair, but this is a brush for your teeth. Make sure it is the right size just for you. What color and size is your toothbrush? Next, we need toothpaste. Toothpaste is like a special soap for your teeth. Boys and girls, it comes in so many different flavors and different colors too. But the most important thing is to make sure you are using toothpaste on your teeth. All right, so you grab your toothbrush, you put some toothpaste on your toothbrush, and then you brush your teeth back and forth, up and down. You brush the top teeth and the bottom as well. You brush your front teeth and your back teeth as well, boys and girls. Your teeth get dirty after every single thing you eat. You can't walk around with dirty teeth every day, all day. So you take the time to brush them in the morning and at night before you go to bed. This makes sure your teeth are happy and clean. All right, so now you know how to brush your teeth and you know why it is so important to brush your teeth. Boys and girls, make sure you take care of your teeth every day so you can have them for a long time. <laughs> Great job, boys and girls. Let's move on. The shape of the month is square. Now boys and girls, first before we do anything else, we need to see how we spell square. Are you ready? Here we go. Square, S-Q-U-A-R, E, square. Now, what is a square? Boys and girls, a square kind of looks like a box and all the sides are the same size. And a square has four sides. Let's count the sides to the square. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Now let's see if we can find some examples of things that are shaped like a square. I think we can do it. Let's go. Napkins. When we sit down to eat a snack or eat dinner, Sometimes we might have a napkin. The next time you use one, look at the shape. These napkins are shaped like squares. Crackers. Crackers come in lots of different shapes, boys and girls, but some of them come in the shape of a square. Sometimes, we eat crackers as a snack, and sometimes we eat them when our tummy doesn't feel so good. Do you have any crackers at home? What shape are they? Windows. We have seen lots of different shaped windows, boys and girls, and sometimes a window can be in the shape of a square. 
How many squares do you see in this window? Well, we are off to a great start finding things that are shaped like a square. Don't forget to add them to your list and don't forget to keep your eyes open for even more things that are shaped like a square. I know you will find some this month. Great job, boys and girls. Let's move on. The color of the month is brown. All right, boys and girls, first things first, we need to see how we spell the word brown. Ready? Here we go. Brown. B R O W N. Brown. We can see the color brown a lot in the month of November. Let's take a look at some examples of things that are brown. Here we go. Bears can be brown. There are different kinds of bears. We know that polar bears are white and live where it is cold. There are also black bears, but beware and keep your eyes open for the brown bear that loves to eat fish. Chocolate is brown. We love eating chocolate as a sweet treat. Boys and girls, but take a look at the color. We know that chocolate can come in many different colors, but the most popular color is brown. There can even be brown paint. You can paint a wall, a house, a picture. What would you paint using brown paint? Hmm. Amazing job, boys and girls. You did a great job helping me find things that are the color brown. Don't forget to add these to your list as we move throughout the month. I know you'll find more things. Great job, let's move on. The number of the day is six. Now, before we do anything else, boys and girls, you and I need to learn how to spell the number six. Ready? Here we go. Six. S-I-X. Six. All right, boys and girls, now it is time for us to practice counting to the number six. Get those counting fingers ready because here we go. Boys and girls, these are called push pins. Push pins help us keep things up on a wall or on a board. How many red push pins do you see on the brown board? Who loves puzzles? I know I do. How many puzzle pieces do you see on the screen? Use your counting finger and don't forget to count out loud.
We are in the season of fall and leaves have fallen everywhere. How many leaves have fallen onto your screen? Count them now. Well, what a great job you just did counting to the number six. Boys and girls, don't forget to keep practicing this skill all week long. I know you can do it. Let's move on. What a wonderful class we have had together, boys and girls. I'm so glad you decided to join me again for another week of learning. Don't forget to put in some practice, boys and girls. And most of all, don't forget to have fun. And most, most of all, don't forget to meet me back here next week for another great week of learning. I can't wait to see you. Great job, boys and girls. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.